Okay, so two other points of concurrency that we talked about are the end center and the circum center. So if you remember, the end center was made with angle bisectors. It's what allowed us to inscribe a circle in a triangle. All right, so I have angle bisectors, so all the angles are divided equally, right? Okay, and then we had to create this perpendicular to the side so that, remember, this, radi this becomes our radius of the circle that we can draw around in here. Okay, so now I wanted to remind you that it's equidistant from the sides and we have angle bisectors. With a circumcenter, the circumcenter is made with perpendicular bisectors. Okay, so we, we're bisecting the sides and we're creating a perpendicular segment. So there's my right angle. What's so special about this is that the circumcenter is equidistant from the three vertices, which then allowed us to circumscribe a circle around the triangle. Okay, so you might want to come back to this page in a little bit here. But what you're going to do is you're going to do another maze now dealing with end centers and circum centers. So you're going to have to really read to figure out which one it is. And then you have to think about what property does, properties does it have. Okay, so I'm going to do the first two with you. All right, so here's the first one. So this is on the back side of that centroid maze. It says if G is the end center. Okay, so end center, I'm thinking about angle bisectors. I'm thinking about how the end center is equidistant from the sides. Okay, so G is the end center of ACE, find the measure of CD. Okay, so I'm looking for this value right here. I know that my angles are congruent, but all of these have side me measures. Not my angles are congruent, my angles are bisected. But all of these values here are side measures. So what I do notice is if this is 22, so is this, and so is this, right? Because it's equidistant from the sides. So really what we end up getting here is a right triangle. It looks something like this. So this is D, this is C, this is G. We know this is 22, this is 28. I want to solve for CD. Now, in this maze, you're going to be using Pythagorean Theorem quite a bit. So I'm going to do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I know C has to be my hypotenuse. All right, so I have X squared plus 22 squared equals 28 squared. I need to subtract 22 squared from both sides. So if I do 28 squared minus 22 squared... I get x squared equals 300, and I need to take the square root, and I get 17.3. Okay, now, in this maze, in the instructions, it tells you to round to the nearest whole number. So I believe if you go down this way, I believe this right here is a 17, so we're going to go down to the next problem. All right, so in this one here, it says if G is the circumcenter, okay, circumcenters, we have perpendicular bisectors and it's equidistant from the vertices. All right, so it's a circumcenter, find the measure of BG. Okay, so I'm going to find the measure of BG. I'm looking for this value right here. Okay, now I'm going to focus on this triangle right here. Okay, keep in mind. If this is a perpendicular, if BG is a perpendicular bisector, right, BG is my perpendicular bisector, if this segment is 17, B is my midpoint, which means BC must also be 17. All right, so my triangle looks like this, if you need me to draw it out here. So again, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem. So I have X squared plus 17 squared equals 22 squared. So x squared is 22 squared minus 17 squared, which gives me x squared is 195. Take the square root of that, and we're going to get 13.96. So that's going to round to 14. So I believe that, again, sends you down. Okay, so you're going to have to think about the end centers versus, versus the circum centers. 
and constantly go back to that first slide, maybe even just go back to reverse the video, back to that first slide and just hit pause and leave that on your screen. That way you can keep referencing back.